Hi everyone, once again, um, I want to start this video by saying any music in the background is because I'm in a public location, and that's what they're playing. I am not choosing to put this on my video. Um, yeah, so Uber, Lyft, and the coronavirus. Just a couple of things I want to say, okay? Well, as you all know, everything's shutting down. Everything's going crazy. Um, and uh, yesterday when I logged on my app, I found the notice saying that all the hubs are closed. Okay, which right now is kind of a problem for me because over the last week, I've had a situation where they are documenting double bonuses um, in other words, what they're saying is, this is this bonus, and you got paid this bonus. And then they're also documenting a duplicate of that bonus under miscellaneous bonus or something like that. It's with the consecutive trip bonuses. Um, they're reporting that I got paid, like, eight bucks for every three rides when I only got... They're reporting I got paid four dollars twice for instance, and I only got paid $4 once. Okay, also, I had a trip to Sedona. Um, 133 minutes is about, yeah, 133 minutes. I forget what the mileage was, but my trip to Tucson was 102 minutes. Basically, 111 miles, and I got paid $82 for it. No surge or anything. So this was a ride out of the airport. It was a $5.25 surge but they multiplied it to 25 bucks uh total trip i got paid 116 dollars for and this bitch did not tip which really pissed me off because she had a really good ride okay um and i detoured through town for a 15 minute stop at walgreens okay which I would never have questioned doing for that kind of ride. Yeah, let's get some supplies. So, in the meantime, we get to Walgreens. I ran in and grabbed some chocolate and some water. And she was in there, and I was back out in the car. And she was in there shopping for another 15 minutes. And then, you know, I offered her some of my chocolate. Offered her some of my water. Well, I already had water in the car. Phone charger yada yada bent over backwards for her um and no tip for that stop uh the ride paid me like i said 116 including 25 dollars on uh on uh the the surge and so that would have meant that i got Paid sixteen ninety five for the trip without the surge, um, but it was a longer ride, way longer ride than Tucson. This ride is over two hours. Um, the Tucson road ride was only like ninety minutes. Um, Anyway, long story short on that, Uber got paid $195, and I want to dispute that because I think I should have gotten paid. If they got paid, if they charged for $195, I should have gotten paid $150 of that. Um, and I wanted to di dispute that. Uh, then on the way back, I hit my destination filter because I wanted it to take me home, Okay. But home is 20 minutes due north of the airport, okay? And I was going through Anthem, Arizona on the way home, which is a bedroom community with a lot of retirees, and the coronavirus shit wasn't getting that deep yet. So there still could potentially, there are potentially airport runs early morning on a Friday morning out of Anthem. So I didn't want to destination to my house because I didn't want to not get a ride to the airport going through airport if I would had the destination my house so I made the destination my airport um and they gave me they gave me a ride 18 minutes away as I'm passing through Anthem 
okay, and said, on your, on way to your destination, no, okay, the, the pickup was one exit, one mile south of the exit that I would have taken if I were, if, to go home, and five miles west, and then it went only back one mile north. And I don't care that it's only going one mile. And I'm looking at it on the screen and I'm like, this isn't right. And I'm like, but I'm going to take it because I'll get long pickup on it. Okay. So that would make it worth it. Um, and because I'm really not comprehending. Um, because I can't absorb all that information while I'm rolling at 70 miles an hour and I got 10 seconds to accept or decline the call. Um, so I took it and I'm like, this is going, the airport is Southeast of where I am now. And it is Southeast of my house. Okay. But they are sending me due west and then back north away from my dentist. So the, the pickup is west of the direction I'm going and the, the drop off is back north of where I'm going and at the end of the ride they gave me a note saying that I didn't get the pickup with the long pickup fee because this is on my way to my destination. No, it's not. So I needed to straighten that out. Okay. And then there was an issue. Driver Dave was taking off and I was supposed to have the car at noon on Wednesday. And at noon on Wednesday, he tells me, um, I'm working tomorrow. So my Lincoln needs to go in the shop because the power steering box blew and I'm not driving it anywhere. So I'm like, I was planning on going to the hub on Wednesday afternoon. And then, um, you know, it got worked out and I did go to work. And then I ended up bringing this cat home. And uh, so I've been dealing with that and some other personal stuff. And I didn't get to the hub. And I was going to go to the hub yesterday. And when I logged on at 2 o'clock, they told me the hub is closed. Okay, well, interestingly, I called last night because I had a situation that I wanted to make sure was noted on the on the record. Um, and I don't need to go into that, but I, so I called Uber and got into their conversation and she's like, is there anything else that you, you know, want us to help you with? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to get anywhere doing it with you guys. I need to go down to the hub because I've been down this road before. And you guys are just going to give me the runaround. I need to go down to the hub. And the hub's not open. And this is a problem. And we're talking about somewhere in the area of $100. I'm not talking one cancellation fee that, uh, you know, it's not worth the hassle. I'm talking about $100. And I've been driving for Uber for two and a half years now. And I have never had a problem with my money. Um, and now I'm having a problem with my money. And also, since I got my ratings back and have been a diamond driver again, um, I'm having a lot of problems with the app. And the app is telling me the ride's going 35 minutes southwest when it's really going 10 minutes due north and that kind of thing. Um, you know, going back to what happened with the destination filter, the same, the same issue. Um... So what I'm starting to notice is they're working me different than they ever worked me before. And they are sending me on a lot of long pickups that aren't quite long pickups. Um, and I've been doing it and it stopped, you know, when baseball season kicked in and they're working me like they normally work me when I was a diamond driver before. And I'm not having those problems. Okay. And this started again last night after the hub is co closed. And they're sending me on 15 minute rides. And they're saying it's 15 minutes on the screen. But the reality is, you know, as I'm going there, it's like, no, I'm going to get there in nine minutes and I'm not going to get the fee. 
and you know and so this is going on and then at the same time when I had this conversation with Uber the girl whether you know how it came up I don't know I didn't ask she's like yeah we won't be open until we'll be opening reopening the hubs on April 6th well if this is a real health crisis that we're going through here now how does Uber know that they're going to that they're going to be able that the crisis is going to be resolved by April 6th. They have a date to reopen. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, this is just an opportunity to manipulate drivers and screw things up and leave drivers stuck and cheat on money. And I've been one to always advocate for the stuff that Uber does do right um, in, in terms of you choose well they're playing or that's what i'm seeing anyway um and that's all i wanted to say on this video and i'm going back to other things i gotta do